It was started in 1979 as being uh, dedicated to putting poetry on stage. And the first production we did was called Angels in Underwear. And it was based on um, Jack Kerouac and Frank O'Hara. And uh, there, of course, there was a big gay kind of element to the Beat Poets, which is what the play was about. So there was a, a huge gap uh, between the work I was doing and the work that was being done in Canadian theatre at that time. So I thought the only way to do my work was to start a company. Uh, but then I quickly reached out with Ruard. Ruard was right there in the first year and I uh, thought the company shouldn't just be about me. And th that was a place where we could do kind of uh, experimental work and support the work of other writers. So that's sort of the way it all came about. A columnist called Christina Blizzard, who was a son, not Christy Blatchford, but Christina Blizzard uh, <clears throat> from The Sun, called me and started asking me questions about were we a sex club and all this other stuff. And I got a little bit rude with her, <laughs> unfortunately, because she pissed me off. And then what happened was is that, you know, she went crazy and wrote this, you know, big expose about how we were this horrible sex club and uh, all this government money. And uh, these people usually, usually what they, because uh, we've had attacked somebody before from Otto Jelinek attack buddies many years ago and actually in the House in Parliament Hill, he attacked us in, in federal government. We literally had to go to council and we had to, to fight and march and galvanize the community around us <clears throat> to, um, to state that we were an important real theatre company that did real artwork and that this was homophobia and uh, just right-wing uh, religious right craziness, right? Because they had this huge letter-writing campaign and Christina Blizzard had all her religious right friends and it's just the huge machine as we know from what happens with the Tea Party in the States, it's the same kind of thing. And that was what was mobilized against us. But it didn't work. Well, I think for me, uh, more divine the opening was really, really exciting. That was my own play that opened the space. And we did something that I don't know if it's ever actually, well, it's done for parties here, but it's not done for plays. And that was that the, the final, because uh, the opening play was supposed to turn into a party. That was the idea. So for the final, uh, for the end of the play and the first performance, we um, opened up the whole space, which is the chamber, the antechamber, and the cabaret, and a parade of <laughs> people came in in costumes. Thinking about it makes me feel very teary-eyed. And they came in with, with costumes uh, from here, and uh, 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 some, someone was lowered, a beautiful young man was lowered, like a sham, he was a chandelier, into the space, and we opened up, I think we'd opened up, it's no longer there anymore, but there was a pit in the main space, so it was quite a spectacle. <laughs> 